Hi everyone, today we're on page 15 in our lesson book, looking at number 43, a Mozart melody, which is otherwise known as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. This was a very exciting lesson because I think this is the most iconic uh, tune that beginning string players learn. I think everyone who's ever played a string instrument has learned Twinkle Twinkle at some point. And so we're going to go through these three lines. The cool thing that we learned in our lesson is that it is very repetitive. And so um, we're going to start by looking at just the top line. And you can see the top line, actually every line, is broken into four measures. So four groupings of four beats uh, per group. And if we take a look at the first two measures on the top line, we should be able to read the notes D, D, A, A, B, B, A. Now for everyone except for bass, you should be able to see that all of your notes are open strings except for one. And that one note is B. You're going to put one finger on the A string for B. Bass is a little bit different and your fingerings are labeled. But for everyone else, it's open strings um, with one finger for B. Of course, we need to remember to move our bow uh, to hit the different strings because it starts on D and then it goes to A. So let's play those first two measures together. We're going to set our bow on the D string. And that first finger is going to be ready to roll, ready to put it down on the A string when it's time. So here's the first two measures of the top line. One, two, here we go. Awesome. And of course, we're going to be really picky that we get that B in the exact right spot. Um, since for most of us, that's the only note we have to put a finger down for, so we really want to get that perfect. Then we're going to look at the second set, or the second half of the first line. The notes are G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, D. And hopefully we're starting to feel more comfortable reading those notes without the uh, little helps inside of them. Uh, but you should be able to look at this and notice that it's a pretty specific pattern that we've been working on in class, and that is it is a backwards half of a backwards D major scale. So it's not the whole scale, but it's all of the notes that you would play um, on the second half. So again, bass, it's a little bit different because you play open G and then all of your notes on the D string. But for everyone else, it's all of the D string notes from that scale. So I'm going to set down however many fingers it is for G. So three if you're violin, three if you're viola, four for cello. And we're going to go backwards through that scale. So one, two, here we go. Okay, so if we put that together at the whole top line, one of the hardest things is going to be during that rest in the middle, getting those fingers down for G. But the rest of it, pretty straightforward. So here's that top line. Here we go. One, two, here we go. And if you're still having a hard time with that, you can pause the video and kind of work through that. I would do it in two measure sections like we just practiced. Once you have the two sections, you can put them together for the whole top line. Then I did say that this is a very repetitive melody, and that's because if you look at the third line, the third line is identical to the top to the first line. So we actually just learned two thirds of the tune by learning the top line. So we know lines one and lines three. So let's take a look at the middle line, the second line. Again, if you break it up into uh, two chunks of two measures each, we're going to look at the, the first two measures of the second line. The notes are A, A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E. Again, you can see it's that pattern of going down, just like when we did the D major scale, except this time we start on A and we end on E. So you never play uh, open D in this particular line, which tends to throw students for a loop, but that's okay. You don't always have to play open D when you play. So again, the notes are A, G, F sharp, and E. And again, the hardest part is getting those fingers down after the open A, or if you're bass, after the open G. But let's try that together nice and slow. One, two, start on A, here we go. Good. 
Now here's the cool part. We actually have learned the whole thing, the whole second line, because if you look at the next two measures, they are the same. Um, so let's play the whole second line. It's the same thing repeated. So one, two, here we go. So I'm going to play the whole thing. This is a, a really great melody to spend some time working on because one, we know what it's supposed to sound like. So if you put your fingers in the wrong spot, you can very easily say to yourself without needing a teacher there, oh, that doesn't sound right. I think I need to fix something because you know what Twinkle Twinkle is supposed to sound like. Also, this is a good one to continue practicing that note reading because again, if you think it's an F sharp and you play an F sharp, but it doesn't sound right, that might mean that it's not an F sharp, that you actually just read the note wrong, okay? Um, lastly, it's just a fun tune to play. A lot of people like to hear it. Many students end up memorizing this. So after a couple weeks of playing it, they're able to just play it from memory. Um, and I would encourage you to practice it enough so that you can do it from memory. But right now I'm gonna play through the whole thing, all of number 43 and then I'll leave you to work on it this week on your own. So one, two, ready, and uh, here we go. Second line. Awesome. So this is what we will continue to work on this over the next several weeks, but practice really hard on this so that you can have it down and maybe play it for some friends. So we'll see you next lesson.